welcome YouTubers to another episode in my Grammar Hero series. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing how to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit, which is a topic you have to understand in order to be successful on the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery, that is the ASVAB. Uh, more specifically, I'm going to break down this video into two main parts. On the first part, I'm going to discuss these two formulas here. And then after that, I'm going to work out uh, three examples. Let me stress this. The ASVAB can be a very tricky test for a couple of reasons. Uh, one of those reasons is it can take a topic, such as converting Celsius to Fahrenheit, and it can make a word problem out of that topic, and therefore it would show up in the arithmetic reasoning subtest. Likewise, it could make this topic into an algebraic problem and put this topic in the mathematics knowledge subtest of the ASVAB. So when you take the ASVAB, you have to be prepared for both of those scenarios. And with that said, let's go ahead and talk about some of the algebra behind these two formulas. And right after that, we'll get to the practice problems. So since many of you are probably wondering, let me go ahead and mention this from the get-go. You do not have to memorize these formulas. In my experience, if you have a question regarding making these conversions, the formula is going to show up in the question itself. So don't devote any of your time to memorizing these formulas. That said, you want to know that these formulas are the same, essentially. If I rearrange this formula algebraically, I can quickly create this formula. And another reason the ASVAB's tricky is because it can give you this formula to find Celsius. It will give you Celsius, and then it will ask you to find Fahrenheit. So in light of that, let's go ahead and uh, break down these formulas algebraically. Again, in case you're wondering, F stands for Fahrenheit and C stands for Celsius. But that said, let's take a look at this formula here. Celsius equals 5 over 9 times Fahrenheit minus 32. Well, as I just mentioned, the ASVAB can be tricky in as much as it will give you Celsius and ask you to solve for Fahrenheit. That is, it will want you to solve for F like this. Well, if you're presented with a problem like that, you're going to have to rearrange this equation algebraically such that you solve for F. And let's go ahead and take a look at that. Well, uh, we would start rearranging this equation by getting rid of this fraction. More specifically, we would take 5 over 9 and multiply it by its inverse, notably 9 over 5. And we would do that to both sides of the equation. This would cross out here and here. So on this side, we would just be left with f minus 32. And over here, we have 9 over 5 times c, which is the same as 9 over 5c. All right, now we just have to add this 32 to both sides of the equation. This will cross out here, leaving you with just f. Uh, so we can see f is 9 over 5c plus 32. And in math, it's customary to write the variable for which you solved on the left. So this is f equals 9 over 5c plus 32. All right, so as you just saw, I used some basic uh, algebraic techniques to rewrite this formula to become this formula. And that's something that you may have to do on the ASVAB. So make sure you know how to do that. But all that said, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at a few practice questions here. All right, this uh, first question says, if C equals 30, then what is F? Use Celsius equals five over nine times Fahrenheit minus 32. And as I said, uh, you don't have to memorize that formula. More than likely, it's going to be given to you as a part of the question. But that said, uh, you want to start by copying down the formula since you're going to have scratch paper on the ASVAB. So we're going to do Celsius equals 5 over 9 times F minus 32. Um, let's identify what's given. We were told C or Celsius is 30, so we know what C is. And we want to solve for F. That is, we want to get F equal to something. Uh, so we're going to have to rearrange this equation here 
such that we get f equal to something by itself. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with doing that. In place of c, I'm going to put 30 here. And I'm thinking ahead here uh, because I know I'm going to have to multiply by a reciprocal. So I'm going to leave a kind of a big gap here. I, I do that intentionally. We have 5 over 9 times Fahrenheit minus 32. All right, so again, we're solving for f, which is trapped here in these parentheses. The first thing we want to do is clear this uh, fraction of 5 ninths. More specifically, we're going to do that by multiplying by its reciprocal, notably 9 over 5. And we're going to do that to both sides of the equation here. This will cross out here and here. And this will leave you with f minus 32 over here. And now we have a little bit of a problem over here. We have 9 over 5 times 30. That is to say, we're multiplying a improper fraction by a whole number. Well, this is pretty easy to take care of. I can write 30 as a fraction by placing it over 1. And that enables me to reduce this by saying 5 goes into 5 one time. 5 goes into 30 six times. And we can see this becomes 9 divided by 1, which is just 9, times 6 divided by 1, which is just 6. And 9 times 6 is 54. All right, so this is 54. And we can go ahead and uh, plug that in over here. 9 fifths times 30 is 54. Now we're just solving for f, so let's add... 32 to both sides. This will cross out here, leaving you with just F over there. Uh, 54 plus 32, let's work that out. Uh, 4 plus 2 is 6, and 5 plus 3 is 8. So F in this case is 86. All right, so that's that one. Again, in order to solve these problems, you have to know how to work with fractions, and you have to be comfortable rearranging uh, this equation accordingly. But that said, it's nothing too difficult. All right, uh, number two here says, if uh, C is 15, then what is F? Use F equals nine over five C plus 32. Uh, so in this case, uh, I'm gonna start by copying down the formula that's given. Again, that's F equals nine over five C plus 32. And let's identify what's given. We're told C is 15. And we're trying to solve for F. So we want to get F equal to something. Well, as it happens, they gave us the formula where F is already set equal to something. So we're not going to have to do too much rearranging in this case. In fact, this one's going to be a lot uh, simpler to solve. So this will be F equals 9 over 5. What is C? C is 15 plus 32. And let's go ahead and take care of this multiplication here. And I'm going to do it off to the side. We have 9 over 5. That's an improper fraction times 15. A whole number. Well, as you saw previously, we can write 15 as a fraction by placing it over 1. Uh, then we can reduce by saying 5 goes into 5 one time. 5 goes into 15 three times. Now we have 9 over 1 times 3 over 1. 9 divided by 1 is just 9. Uh, 3 divided by 1 is just 3. So this is 9 times 3, which we should know is 27. Uh, so this becomes 27 plus 32. And so as not to make any mistakes doing mental math, I'm also going to work that off to the side. 32 plus 27. Uh, 2 plus 7 and 7, 8, 9. Uh, 3 plus 2 is 5. So we can see F in this case is 59. So if Celsius is 15 degrees, uh, Fahrenheit must be 59 degrees. All right, so that was a pretty easy question. And let's take a look at number 3 here. It says if C is 20, then what is F? Use Celsius equals 5 ninths times Fahrenheit minus 32. Let's go ahead and copy this uh, equation down. Celsius equals 5 ninths times Fahrenheit minus 32. 
let's identify what we have. We have Celsius, our C being 20. And we're trying to solve for F. In other words, we want to get F by itself. And in this case, they gave us this formula uh, where F is trapped inside parentheses here. So we're going to have to do some rearranging uh, such that we get F by itself when everything's said and done. All right, so let's go ahead and fill things in accordingly. We know Celsius is 20, so this is 20 equals... I'm going to leave a space here because I know I'm going to have to do some work on this fraction here. Uh, 5 over 9 times Fahrenheit minus 32. Again, we're trying to solve for F. The first thing we want to do is clear this uh, fraction of 5 over 9 by multiplying it by its reciprocal of 9 over 5. We're going to have to do that to both sides. This will cross out here and here, leaving you with just F minus 32 over there. And now we have to deal with this multiplication involving this improper fraction and a whole number. I'm going to do that off to the side. We have 9 over 5 times uh, 20. I'm going to write 20 as a fraction by placing it over 1. That's going to enable me to reduce this by saying 5 goes into 5 one time. 5 goes into 24 times. So this becomes 9 divided by 1, which is just 9 times 4 divided by 1, which is just 4. 9 times 4 is 36. So this is uh, 36 equals F minus 32. And let me go ahead and move down a little bit. Let's add 32 to both sides now to finally get F by itself. This crosses out, leaving you with F over here. And uh, 6 plus 2 is 8. 3 plus 3 is uh, 6. All right, so uh, if it's 20 degrees Celsius, that means it's 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Of course, in math, you can write the variable for which you solved on the left. All right, so that's it for this video. Hope you found it helpful. Again, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, uh, you do not have to memorize these formulas. As you saw in the practice problems, uh, those formulas are going to be given to you. But that said, you have to be able to use either of these two formulas to make your conversions accordingly. And as you saw, uh, the only difficult part about that is dealing with the fractions. Um, as always, I hope you found this video helpful. If you like the content I'm creating, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. But on that note, I'm going to go ahead and catch you loose. Konnichiwa.